So here's a bit of education for you, MTD CNC Global, all right, FANUC. We're looking at a collaborative robot here. Now, what's fundamentally the difference between a robot, which generally from, well, is from FANUC, is yellow, or a collaborative robot, which is green? Now, the biggest thing is, and the most important factor, is that basically you don't need any fencing around these units. They are totally health and safety compliant. And I'm going to show you here or illustrate how it works and, and why they are so effective in industrial environments such as this where it's picking up bar and putting it into a simulating, putting it into a chuck at the back there. Um, for example, this is actually running a bit slower than they should anyway. But um, I'm going to start the robot or start the cobot here. Now once it's picked one of these bars up, that's using suction, I believe, there to pick this up. I'm going to actually show you, uh, if I was in the factory, if I was to actually push or put some force on the cobot, it will stop. And that's the whole idea. If it was to hit me, if I was to walk into it, then it would stop. And to start it again, I simply press start. It will pick up where it left off. Even if I move it to a different position, it will refind its datums, it will recalibrate, and it will... Uh, it will find its position. Now I'm also going to put, um, it's actually going to, not sure where the cobalt's actually going here, I'm going to put my hand over here. And there's also a force sensor, which you'll, uh, you'll set within the um, parameters of the control. So now again, it's stopped. So the whole idea behind a cobot is, I mean, they're so easy to use. You can also teach them. So when you've got a particular operation you're trying to do, you can teach the robot where to go to pick up particular parts. It's the easiest way to program them. And not only that as well, this system working within, and I'm just going to press start the robot again, this system working in conjunction with this 3D sensor, what it's doing is it's actually meaning that wherever the, uh, the bars are, or if you were putting billets in here on a tray or in a tray, it wouldn't matter because the 3D vision will actually take a picture. It will then communicate to the cobot and tell you exactly where those parts are to pick them up. It changes the, the, the parameters completely of manufacturing. It means that you no longer have to stand by the machine to load it. You no longer have to worry about buying a robot where you've got to put fencing all around it. Actually, a lot of instances, these can be wheeled around to different machines within the machine shop.